everybody. Hope everybody had a good Monday. So cute. Oh, yay. I'm glad you were able to make it, Alley Cat. We have some super cute kittens, but that's no different from any other day, really. <laughs> so cute. Good little baby star. Little baby star. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> Tinsel causing havoc amongst the kittens. So sweet. Tinsel, you are too funny. They love playing in the tunnel. And they don't always have it in the bedroom, so when it comes in to play with them, they have extra fun. They are not all mine. They are rescue kittens. They will be six weeks old on Wednesday. They're all in foster care and they will be spayed and neutered and available for adoption in early January. Babies. Oh, babies. Siraj, Siraz, Shiraz goes for her surgery tomorrow. She has a big day tomorrow. Glimmer must be sleepy. Going back to bed. I um I haven't weighed them since last night. Little Star, um, we went to the vet today for a checkup because Little Star was losing weight. And um, so I have to get a poop sample. <laughs> um, but uh, looks like she's back to her, her sort of regular self. She's also um, been given a dose of metronidazole. <laughs> no, you can't chew on that. And um, we'll see what happens. She's still eating. It's just her poops that are a bit of troublesome for her, I think. Oh, Bo. Causing havoc. Causing havoc. So cute. She's definitely eating and she's drinking. It's just um, a matter of what's going on in her tummy. So we're gonna get it sort of checked out. Hi, Ribbon. Oh, Ribbon. Oh, Ribbon.
so cute. <laughs> I hope so too, but they will do whatever is best for her. They definitely will. Get a ribbon. So cute. Mr. Bow. Oh. Star. Little baby star. those big eyes. A big head on a little body. So cute. <laughs> she says thank you. She's a uh, eyeing out mats. <laughs> I think the long distance might be a bit of a trouble with their relationship though. so handsome. What are you doing back there, Star? Huh? What are you doing back there? What are you doing? <clears throat> Bo is double the weight of Star. Hey, little star. <laughs> oh, you're so feisty. So feisty. <laughs> Babies. Babies. Boing, 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 <laughs> boing, oh Tinsel, you are too funny. There's a kitten in the basket. They're hiding. Is it Star? I'm going to um, collapse tomorrow.
Kayla had a couple days off, so I'm going to call her when she's back tomorrow. Regarding applications. I do believe adoptions are 200 for kittens. I do believe. And they come spayed and neutered and they have all their first round of shots and they are dewormed. And um, if you were to pay that out of pocket, it's right around 350. So it's totally worth it to adopt a shelter kitten or cat. These two scamps playing in the litter box. <laughs> You're so funny, Tinsel. <laughs> yeah, most, um, Kittens and puppies are all born with um, worms. It's passed down through their mama. And uh, just a quick deworming treatment, something even like Revolution or Strogitin. And it takes care of the wormies for the most part, unless there's something uh, fairly severe. Glenn is watching from above. Ah, I don't like to be in the video. But my mirror got me. <laughs> Hanging out at the pooper, huh? That's not very fun. <laughs> That's not very fun. What's everybody doing over here? Huh? <laughs> Bo's digging to China. <laughs> Tinsel wants to get involved. Oh, Bo. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. Well, I'm glad you pooped it all out before we weighed you in. Holy. I was monitoring to ensure there was no mess to be dragged around the room. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Thanks for watching, Alley Cat. See you tomorrow. So cute. Little star in the basket. Oh, more basket.
eight kittens over there. Glimmer's up here playing with the ball. You having fun, Glimmer? <laughs> oh, kittens. Where's Tinsel? Oh, Tinsel's hiding in the basket. <laughs> Get him, Tinsel. <laughs> Too funny. They hear the puppy. having her own fun up here. <laughs> She's a little bit of a loner kitty. <clears throat> she does her own thing and she beats to her own drum but at the end of the day she'll snuggle with her siblings. She's quite content staying out of all the the busyness. She makes her own fun. <laughs> Bow, looking for a puppy. Do you see the puppy bow? I think he went away. All right. Might as well start weigh-ins. I can't believe it's already Monday again. Crazy. Um, Toro actually does a pretty good job at not coming in. Every once in a while, one of the kittens is pretty scampy and they make a break for it. And, uh, I, I catch them. Come here, Bo. Let's get you all weighed in for the day. Mr. Heavyweight. Oh, good job, buddy. Bo is weighing in at 724. Glimmer came right over to see me. Let's weigh you in, little baby girl. Six forty. Who else is gonna come and see me? Will Star come over and see me? Let's see how you did since this afternoon. Huh? Let's see how you did. I see, saw you eat a bunch. Oh, good job, little one. Good job. So Star is weighing in at 377. And this morning at 10 a.m., she was weighing 343, so she's already shot right back up since she's been to the doctor. So that's good to see. 
I hope it's just not <laughs> the sub Q fluids that's causing the weight, but um, I did see her go pee pee. So hopefully that's not the case. All right. Well, Tinsel, troublemaker Tinsel, it's your turn. No, oh, you're already trying to run, are you? You little scamp. You little scamp. Six. What are you? Nope, you gotta stop moving. 644. Forty-four. And who do we have left? Ribbon. Ribbon. Where are you, Ribbon? Come and see me. That could be very true. Could be very true. But uh, Star's already feasting again. She's, she needs to catch up. Oh, Ribbon, you came to see me. It's so nice of you. Ooh. Oh, did I hear that somebody chosen for what? What did I miss? <laughs> I'm sorry. Five thirty two for ribbon. Ooh. All right, babies. <laughs> oh, yay. That's so exciting. Congratulations. So I think three babies now have applications. Um, here's their weight chart for those of you that are following. Hey now, hey now. <laughs> three applications. There's an application for Tinsel, Star, and um, Bo. Hmm. Mr. Possum, I'm hoping you can do me a favor. I um can't do this myself because I'm streaming. Is there any way that you could send Janet Weirs the link to my Periscope? She watches from the computer. and she has a hard time accessing. Or if somebody could, if anybody knows Janet. I think Lisa is napping, she's not feeling well, so in turn, Janet didn't get a link to the Periscope. Is there any way that you could send a link to Janet Yeah, that would be great if you can. If not, that's okay too. I don't think Lisa is feeling too well, so she's sleeping. And um, Janet gets the link from Lisa. Oh, poor puppy. <laughs> oh, you kittens. Too cute. Too cute.
Star's weight is 377. Um, this morning, I weighed her in and she was weighing 343, which you can see last night she would have dropped 40 grams overnight. So I took her to the vet along with her siblings. And um, I have to get a poop sample. <laughs> and she was given some metronidazole. And you can see she's already popped back up. Um, so she's clearly feeling much better. They suspect it's some sort of tummy bug. That she's just having a tough time fighting. So. That's the latest on the kittens. Everybody else is in tip-top shape. But um, she's feeling better. She's already had two big meals. She's playing. And I get the fun job of <laughs> getting a poop sample from her. Oh, babies. I think she will too. I think she has maybe something similar to like maybe what we would call the flu. As far as overcoming it, especially since she's has medical care and she's not outside. She doesn't actually have the flu. I was just referring to um, the ability to fight it off. Thank you, Mr. Possum. Hopefully Janet can find it. I think the biggest love bug is probably Tinsel, no, Glimmer and Bo are pretty, they all are really. I can just kind of touch them and they all start purring. Um, see, Star's purring. <laughs> She's just sitting on my lap. Little Star. Um, they all purr when you touch them. And, uh, Glimmer is just like, you can roll her on her belly, her side. She'll just like take it and she loves it. She'll suck it right up. And, um, Tinsel and Bo do the same thing, but when they're scampy, they'll want to play instead. And, um, at nighttime... Tinsel pushes everybody out of the way to try and get the closest to my neck. <laughs> and I usually have ribbon and star right there because they're so tiny. Star is going to be a lap cat, I think. So cute. And then there's ribbon. Hi, Ribbon. Ribbon has very cute little ears. And um, Star is on my lap. Star will sleep like on my chest, she'll sleep on my leg, she'll sleep on my lap, she'll sleep like flopped right across my neck like a like a neck pillow. <laughs> Look at these two wrestling in their house. They're having a little domestic dispute. <laughs> Tinsel got kicked out. <laughs> The softest kitten is Tinsel. And I think the floofiest kitten might end up being um, Ruffles 
or not ruffles, ribbon. Bo, I think he has the thickest coat. He's got lots of hair. Glimmer is very special looking. She has like champagne markings. She's torty and she's got pretty coloring on her chest and her belly and in her toes. Little ribbon. Has a ribbon down her face. And she's got very cute little ears. Don't you, ribbon? <laughs> they go sideways. Like Yoda. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, kittens. So cute. <laughs> Tinsel is too funny when she plays. It's not even just when she's attacking her, her siblings. But when she's playing with me, she likes to attack and then like circle around and attack again. That's kind of her, her kitten M.O. That's what she does. Oh, that was a big jump. Big jump, Tinsel. <laughs> Little star is just soaking it all in. Baby star. Purr, purr, purr. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Tinsel, are you beating Glimmer up? With all your scampiness. All that scampiness tinsel. Ribbon, yeah, ribbon's in the basket. <laughs> Zoom. so fast. They're so fast. <laughs> Too funny. Too cute. Hey, Star. What are you doing? <coughs> you watching everybody? Bo's having something to eat. You gonna go too?
Here, try this one. There's more in this one. <laughs> You're going to be over 400 grams by tomorrow, little one. If you stay feeling better, you will be. I think Mama Vicky would too, since Mama Vicky was rescued, she's developed quite the bottomless pit. <clears throat> they hear the doggy. So sweet. You guys sharing? <laughs> That's too funny. Too funny. Do I have a tinsel on me? Oh, I do. I know. Um, Bo is pretty much half the or stars half the size of Bo, for the most part. Even these guys aren't even half the size, but you can see. You can see the difference. Teeny tiny little star. Little baby star. Purr, purr, purr. That's nice. You little lap kitty. So sweet. <laughs> Hopefully, whoever adopts these kittens will <coughs> make Facebook pages because these guys are so adorable. And I'm sure we'll all want to follow them as they grow up with their new families. So cute. <laughs> I'm going to um, email the Calla Lily kittens this week and see if there's a Christmas update with their families. And I'll be sure to share it with everybody. We don't do home vis visits, sorry, but we have a very thorough application. Um, whereas last week, for example, there was 11 declines. Um, as well as on the application. It asks if you would be willing to do a home visit. So for the most part, if you answer no, I'm sure that's a pretty telltale sign. Um, for the most part, we're always pretty full up with cats, um, but we don't always have kittens. And we... Um, we adopt for strictly indoor cats, unless they're barn cats. 
or semi-feral or something like that. Um, but, uh, yeah. So if people say that, you know, Star's going to be have, have access to outside that isn't a catio or she won't be on leash and she'll have freedom to go outside. And um, after an education session with them, which is just a, a conversation essentially, um, and they still feel that they'll have the option to go outside, then generally speaking, they are declined or put in a pile that would be for outside cats. Because we want to encourage people to um, understand why cats should be indoor animals and indoor pets because of the risks that they take on when they are welcomed to the outside world. So it's important that all of our families understand we, we want to see these kittens grow old with them not be uh, ending their lives early due to something tragic. So, it's another sort of important PSA for um, pet education. Isn't it? It's good pet education. <laughs> Some people just don't understand, and then that's where, you know, everybody to each their own. Oh, that was a big jump by Tinsel. So cute. So cute. What are you doing over here, Star? Hanging out on the heater again? Are you cold? Are you cold, little kitten? <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. So cute. What are you doing, Tinsel? Are you playing? <laughs> you guys ready for your for your evening nap before bedtime. <laughs> Xmas gifting of animals is uh <sighs> that one's a doozy. Lucky for us, Laps has no kittens available right now. So it kind of solves the majority of that problem for laps. You guys arguing? No, go sit with your sister. <laughs> That's cute. So 
so cute. Here comes Glimmer. Exactly. From years and years of doing it a certain way, and generations and generations doing it the same. <laughs> so cute. Look at Bo. And under here, <laughs> you have a tinsel. <laughs> Definitely. I have friends that don't want to be educated, but uh, I give them huge props when they do the right thing. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, I am um, heading off for the night. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place, same kittens. <laughs> Bo. Thanks for watching, everybody.